Don't cry for me. Don't shed a tear. I've been set free. No need to fear. God spoke to me. My time had come. He made a way to bring me home. Don't cry. I'm well within my soul. I saw the light. I took his hand. We flew on high to the promised land. My soul lives on in a better place. With all his glory, with all his grace, don't cry. I'm well within my soul. My pain is gone. Please understand. My passing was in God's great plan. I'm with you still, each day and night. Just close your eyes. I'll hold you tight. Don't cry for me. My pain. Gone forever. Don't cry for me. My body's been made whole. Don't cry for me. We'll soon be back together. Don't cry for me. I'm well within my soul. I'm in your heart. I feel your pain. Don't give up hope. Our love remains. I'll wait for you at heaven's door. We'll meet again one day for sure. Don't cry for me. My pain is gone forever. Cry for me. I'm well within my soul. Don't cry for me. Don't shed a tear. I've been set free. No need to fear. Don't cry. I'm well within my soul. Don't cry for me. I'm well within my soul.
I've been set free No need to fear God spoke to me My time had come He made a way To bring me home Don't cry for me My pain is gone forever Don't cry for me My body's been Cry for me, I'm well within my soul. I saw the light, I took his hand. We flew on high to the promised land. My soul lives on in a better place with all his glory, with all his grace. Don't cry. Cry for me, I'm well within my soul. My pain is gone, please understand. My passing was in God's great plan. I'm with you still, each day and night. Just close your eyes, I'll hold you tight. Don't cry. My pain is gone forever Don't cry for me My body's been made whole Don't cry for me We'll soon be back together Don't cry for me I'm well within my soul I'm in your heart I feel your pain Don't give up hope Our love remains I'll wait for you At heaven's door We'll meet again One day for sure Don't cry for me My pain is gone forever Cry for me, I'm well within my soul. Don't cry for me, don't shed tear. I've been set free, no need to fear. Don't cry. Together, don't cry for me. I'm well within my soul. Don't cry for me. I'm well within my soul. Don't cry for me, don't shed a tear I've been set free, no need to fear 
God spoke to me, my time had come, He made a way to bring me home, don't cry for me, my pain is gone forever, don't cry for me, my body's been made whole, don't cry for me, we'll soon Don't cry for me, I'm well within my soul. I saw the light, I took his hand, we flew on high to the promised land. My soul lives on in a better place with all his glory, with all his grace. Don't cry. Cry for me, I'm well within my soul. My pain is gone, please understand. My passing was in God's great plan. I'm with you still, each day and night. Just close your eyes, I'll hold you tight. Don't cry. Cry for me, I'm well within my soul. I'm in your heart, I feel your pain. Don't give up hope, our love remains. I'll wait for you at heaven's door. We'll meet again one day for sure. Don't cry. Cry for me, I'm well within my soul. Don't cry for me, don't shed a tear. I've been set free, no need to fear. Don't cry for me, my pain is gone forever. Don't cry. Together, don't cry for me. I'm well within my soul. Don't cry for me. I'm well within my soul. Don't cry for me, don't shed a tear, I've been set free, no need to fear. God spoke to me, my time had come, He made
made a way to bring me home. Don't cry for me, my pain is gone forever. Don't cry for me, my body's been made whole. Don't cry for me, we'll soon be back together. Don't cry for me. I'm well within my soul. I saw the light. I took his hand. We flew on high to the promised land. My soul lives on in a better place. With all his glory, with all his grace, don't cry.
Cry for me, don't shed tear. I've been set free, no need to fear. Don't cry for me, my pain is gone forever. Don't cry for me, my body's been made whole. Don't cry for me, we'll soon. Together, don't cry for me. I'm well within my soul. Don't cry for me. I'm well within my soul. Don't cry for me, don't shed a tear. I've been set free, no need to fear. God spoke to me, my time had come. He made a way to bring me with Him. If we endure, we shall also with Him. If we endure, we shall also reign with Him. If we deny him, he also will deny us. If we are faithless, he remains faithful. For, he can. for God so loved the world that he gave his only son, that whosoever believes in him should not perish, but have eternal life. Since the children have flesh and blood, he too shared in their humanity, so that by his death he might destroy him who holds the power of death, and that is the devil. To him who overcomes, I'll give the right to sit with me on the throne, just as I overcame and sat down with my father on his throne. Tell the next generation that this is God, our God forever and ever. He himself will guide us up to death. The grass withers, and the flowers fall, because the breath of the Lord blows in them. Surely the people are grass. Blessed are those that mourn, for they will be comforted. Precious in the sight of the Lord is the death of his saints. Amen. We welcome you this afternoon and we are going to sing hymn 299. Hymn 299. Hymn 299. When peace like a liver, a dead and thou 
When peace like a river attended my way, when sorrows like sea be rose draw, whatever my love thou hast told me to say, it is well, it is well with my soul. It is well, it is well with my soul, with my soul. It is well, it is Should bave, the trial should come. Red praise, blessed assurance, control that Christ has regarded my help, resisted and ashamed. With my soul, with my soul, it is well, it is well, with my soul, my sin, oh, the breeze of this glorious dawn, my sin, But my hope is now to his cross, and I bear it no more. Praise the Lord, praise my Lord, O oh my soul. It is well, it is well. With my soul, with my soul, it is well, it is well, with my soul. For me be it Christ, be it Christ to live. If In 
our prayer books, page 65. We also want to extend this welcome to all those who are coming and those who have come to be with this family, even as we mourn the death of our sister, our mom, and our friend, and of course, a member of this church, our sister. We ask for peace of the Lord, even as we welcome you on behalf of Canon and say karibuni sana katika nyumba ya Bwana. Friends, we have come together even as we memorize and have time to celebrate the life of our sister whom the Lord has called to himself. Yet we believe that since Jesus died and rose again, so it will be for those who die in Christ. For God will bring them to life with Jesus. Heavenly Father, in your Son Jesus Christ, you have given us a true faith and a sure hope. Strengthen this faith and this hope in us all our days, that we may live as those who believe in the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, and the resurrection to eternal life. Amen. Amen. We remain standing. For everything, there is a season and a time for every matter under heaven. A time to be born, a time to plant, a time to weep, a time to mourn, a time to cast away stones, a time to embrace, a time to seek, a time to keep, a time to read, a time to keep silent. We will still remain studying to hear the psalm for today. Psalm 90, Psalm 90. Lord, do you have been our dwelling place? Before the mountains were brought forth, or ever you had formed the earth and the world, even from everlasting to everlasting, you are God. You turn man, you turn man, in, uh, you turn man into destruction and say, Return, O children of men, for a thousand years in your sight are like a day, and when it's past, and like a watch in the night. You carry them away, you carry them away like a flood. They are like a sleep in the morning, they are like a grass which just comes up. In the morning, it is good in the sight and grows up. In the evening, it, it is cut down and it is cut down and with us. For we have been consumed by your anger and by your wrath we are afraid. You have set our sins before you our secret sins in the light of in the light in the light of your glory for all our days have passed away in your wrath and we finish our years like a sigh the days of our lives are only 70 years and it may and if by reason of power they are 80 yet and yet their boast is only labor and sorrow for it is soon cut off and we pass away who knows the power of your anger for as we fear of you so is your wrath so teach us to number our days that we may gain a heart of power wisdom Return, O Lord, how long, and have love on your servants. 
O Lord, satisfy us early with your mercy that 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 we may rejoice and be glad all our days. Make us glad according to the days in which you have in which in which you have afflicted us, the years in which we have seen evil. Let your work appear to us and, the, and your glory to their children. And let the beauty of the Lord our God be upon us. Establish the work of our hands for us. Yes, establish the work of our hands. Glory to the Father, to the Son, to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, so it is now and ever shall be. Amen. Take our seats and we kindly want to welcome the person who is doing eology to come over. Yuliana Tusomea and the Mama Yetu to Namomba Kaji Nekaweze Kuisoma. Kimani? Eology, yes. Are they prepared? As they prepare, I want to ask the ladies. We have a song. We can do a presentation, ladies. Yes, the Eskimani na putoeleke zana ni ataweza kutusomea the eology. Of course, we have a program. We have a program. So, ladies, after this, then you can you prepare to have a presentation. Okay, I'm particular. Akimaliza basi mtaweza ku tuimbia wimbo. Good afternoon. I'm standing here. I'm Peter Masharia. I'm the second born in this family. I stand here knowing that uh, my mom was very friendly to us as children. I remember last month I came with her to church and we sat over there. And uh, she was very, very okay at that time. And we did know that uh, her time was soon coming because we were very hopeful at least that we knew that uh, she was under good care of able people, that includes the, the doctors. And when we sat there, fortunately she did not engage with most of the Mother, especially the mother union where she belongs because her walking was a bit uh, slow and I think she was slowing down. But I'll read the tribute now. Jeru Wanjiro was the first born child, 19th, was born 1939 to the late John Moravi and the late Nelias Wanja. Her siblings are Geoffrey Kashogo, the late Josephine Wamweda, Mary Waidera, Wilson Batia, and Gerard Shege. Mama Nyambura commenced her schooling in 1949. Mama Nyambura is our last firstborn at Waidaga Primary School. Asil for Education saw her join Kianderi Intermediate School from 1954 to 1957. When she set for her CAPE, she then successfully trained as an early childhood educator. That is a nursery school. Mama Masharia lived a full life with her beloved Festus Mainandumu, 
whom she got married to in 1958. They later solemnized their union at St. Stephen's ACK Church in Nairobi. The two remained ever intimate. Her children are Grace Nyambura and David Mwangi, Peter Masharia and Helen Masharia, Margaret Wanja and David Njoroge, Joyce Mwende, Irene Waithira, and the late Nicholas Njobi, John Moraithi, Samuel Kimani, and Eunice Wanjiro, and Catherine Jerry. Mama Wanja was employed and worked with the Nairobi City Council as an early childhood educator. She retired in 1991. Farming was her passion, late economic activity. She cultivated macadamia, doma, and was consistently officially recognized as the number one coffee producer at Wivaga main coffee factory. Jane was a devoted born-again Christian who was baptized and confirmed during her youthful years at Emmanuel S.E.K. Wivaga. While in Nairobi, she actively served at St. Stephen's S.E.K. Jogo Road. Indeed, their matrimony was officiated and celebrated in this church. When St. James Church was started, her family became part of this Buruburu Christian community. She was an exemplary member of the Mother's Union and also an active member of the East African Revival Movement, Tukutendereza. She attended Tukutendereza Fellowship and supported the gospel of Jesus Christ financially and through prayers. In her rural home, she worshipped at St. Peter's S.E.K. Kahote. The family took dear mom to Jalaram Medical Center at Westlands on 28th February 2024 for some eyes check, checkup. Then she was taken to a neuro, neuro care for a scan and she got on medication. On Friday, the 22nd of March 2024, the family took her to Jama Hospital for further observation and treatment and was admi admitted on, 20, on 23rd March 2024. She developed some complications and the unexpected happened. Jane went peacefully to be with the Lord, aged at 85 years. In that night, in the, in the night, that night shift, Mrs. Miner's life that had started in 1939 at Gitwek village, Wangu sub-location, Wilaga location, Kahuro sub-county in Muranga county, became a treasured memory. Her goodness and memories will forever remain in the hearts of her family and friends. This remarkable, kind, caring, and the dignified lady is survived by her eight children, many grandchildren, and many great grandchildren. I end up there. Thank you so much. Yeah. Yeah. God is good and all the time and that is his nature wow and even at this time even though we are mourning he remains the same he is good Bwana asifiwe njina ni penina wairimomaina and the Lord Jesus is my personal savior and by the grace of God, I happen to be the chair lady 
of Mother's Union in this parish. I, uh, I want to tell the children of the late Jane Minor that may the Lord comfort you because he is the only one who can comfort you. We can say we are comforting you, we are consoling you, but we cannot penetrate in your hearts to tell you poorly. But the Lord will penetrate and give you comfort, give you peace, and strengthen you. I will read the tribute on behalf of Mother's Union in this church because we cannot all stand here and give our tributes. And so, uh, my family and I bring our condolences to the family of the late Jane Minor, senior. I also bring condolences of four St. James Mother's Union members, and may God comfort the family and every one of us. In Mother's Union Fraternity, we used it to differentiate the late Jane Wajiro Maina Wanaftali, who was child of Mother's Union as a junior, because they, bear, they bore the same names, Jane Wajiro Maina. So we used to call them senior and junior. Uh, and now, the late Jane Wajiro Maina Festus, we used to call her senior. To the family of Jane Minor, we want to encourage you to be remembering Jane with the good things she did to each one of you while she was alive. This will help you to move on and to give you a new song of thanksgiving to God for her life. Jane was one of the founder members of ACK St. James Church Buruburu when it was started in 1983, where the hall is. Before this year, 1983, we used it to fellowship at SEK St. Philip's and some of us at St. Stephen's Church, Jogorund. When the Mabati Church was constructed after a long struggle with the City Council of Nairobi, we started coming up with activities of raising money to build this church where we are seated today. And Jane was one of the mothers of this church who used to participate in all activities of fundraising together with her late husband, Festus Minor. May God continue to keep his soul in eternal peace. Jane was a committed member of Mother's Union and could not fail to attend the fellowships and visiting visits to those faced with adversity until the time she started having problems of walking due to knee problems. Sometimes back, she had went to surgery as it was rent uh, in both knees and she recovered very well. Thanks be to God. Sorry. Thanks be to God for his healing masses. She even came here in church for thanksgiving. Many of us who knew her or who knew her were so excited to see her back in church after a long time. In Mother's Union, we have five objectives or objects, and Jane had observed the first objective of upholding Christian marriage in the fear of God. They loved each other deeply with her late husband. I witnessed this several times because I used to interact with them since they were godparents to some of our children. She also observed the second objective of Mother's Union by bringing up her children to love of God, by bringing them to church for baptism, Sunday school, and confirmation. I hope I'm not cheating. She brought you to church, isn't it? Thank you. Uh, 
and confirmation. She participated in women prayers and fellowships, including Mita fellowships in phase one, where she belonged. When she was strong, she used it to participate in all those things, even the meetings of Mother's Union. Now, and that meeting and the prayers and the fellowships is our third objective. And the fourth, she also observed the fourth objective of Mother's Union, which is caring for the less privileged and the disadvantaged members of the society by participating in Mother's Union activities, especially during Talent Week's activities. She also visited the sick and the bereaved families and those faced with adversity, which is our fifth objective. We have five. One for marriage, second, uh, taking care of the children or teaching them the ways of God to fear God. The third one, fellowship and prayers. The fourth one, to be concerned for the less unfortunate or less privileged. And the fifth, those faced with adversity, those the bereaved ones, the sick ones, and that kind of thing. And she, oh, she participated in all of them. Now, Jane was a humble lady, worthy to be emulated by those who knew her. To the family, may the Lord comfort you, may the Lord strengthen you, and give you peace during this difficult time. May the Lord fill the gap that was left in your lives and remember to always call on God and he will be your present help in times of need. Though she has is, she is gone away from us physically, she will forever remain in our hearts as she has left a gap. But we are comforted to know that she is just sleeping because those who die in Christ will live again with him forever. We loved Jane, but God loved her best. She is in a better place where there is no more sickness, no more sorrow, no more pain, and no more struggles of this world. May her soul Rest in eternal peace. Amen. Uh, may all the ladies come so that we sing a song to, fare our, to bid our sister and our mom farewell. We have the copies with us here. So come, we have the copies. Those who don't have Mika. Oh, Those who don't have copies, you can pick one here. But here we mm -hmm. If they are not enough, we can share. Okay. Anybody who doesn't have? There is a land, there is a land that is fairer than day. One, two, three. There, there is a land that is fairer than day. And by faith we can see it afar. For the Father we saw for the day. To prepare us around dwelling place there. In the sweet by and by, we shall meet on the beautiful show. We shall sing on that beautiful show. The melodious songs of the blessed, and our spirit shall sorrow no more. 
not aside for the blessings to bless. In the sweet, in the sweet by and by, we shall meet on the beautiful shore. In the sweet by and by, we shall meet on the beautiful shore. To a bountiful Father above, we will offer a tribute of praise for the glorious gift of His love and the blessings that follow our day. In the sweet, in the sweet by and by, we shall meet on the beautiful show in the sweet by and by we shall meet on the beautiful show thank you and those who have not registered themselves and they want to go for the funeral tomorrow may we meet outside there please thank you thank you so much let us give them a clap I will invite Mary Nyamura to speak on behalf of the family. Mary Nyamura to speak on behalf of the family. Then after that, in law, we come and speak. That's David Kabudi. Praise God. Praise God again. God is good, and all the time. My name is Mary, Mary Nyabura Irogo, as you have heard. And Mama Grace is my aunt. Akona Kofia Migi Kwangu. She is an aunt, mom, and everything to me, and a friend. She is an aunt because Baba Grace and my mom are first cousins. That is one thing. And she is a mom. She is almost my, the age of my mother. And when my mother left, left us at 209, she was the one who was advising me as a mother. Hakuna wakati, nime muhitaji akakosa. Kama mama yagu. She is a humble and a generous mom. Tukimuita kwetu all the time tukihitaji, tukiwa na mahitaji yote. Hata akiwa analemewa juu ya miguwa likuwa anajaribu sana. Hata kama ni uba anachukua. I remember, like last August, we had a, a, we had a wedding of our son, last born son. And the day, that the, the wedding day, she had said she, she must come and she would try her best to come. And on the way to that wedding, she got sick and she had to be taken to the hospital. But she made sure that the daughter, Waivera, had to say something for the present. And she convinced her she wouldn't go back to me the present for her to be satisfied. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, ni mutu, ni mama wa kujitolea ire ata siwezi ni kaereza. Very humble wa kujitolea. Even kwa Mother's Union, hata akiwa vile, hata aku anakuja kwa kanisa. I remember, I used to see her name all the time we were doing contributions for those who have lost their dear ones. She used, I used to see her name all the time, hata kama hayuko kwa sisi, hapa kanisa. She is uh, afraid, juwata wakati nilikuja hapa, jenili join this uh, church around 30 years ago, Baba Yao, Ali Niuliza, 
Mama Muthon, have you registered as a member in this church? Nikamwambia bado. Akaniambia you have to register yourself you utakaa tu kama mgeni hapa miaka yako yote kama hauta register. So he, he was a good advisor also. And that's when I registered my my name to, for, in this church. They used to be with us at a museum alikuwa wakujitolea. This family ni family close to me. I'll miss her. Alikuwa an visit at a mama kiwa mugoji wa kwa gukuwa nyuba. When she, we lost her. She used to come now and then to visit mom. Hata siwezi ni kaereza miki. Akini mugu ni muema. Tusikane wa toto. Fide tumebaki. Tuedere. Kusikana kama mama vile alikuwa na tusikanisa. Sina megi sana ya kusema. Mezi rest in peace. Bwana sifiwe. My names are David Mwangi Kabugi. I love Lord, and the Lord is my personal savior. Uh, I won't have that great, um, the energy to speak about my mom uh, because I've lost uh, a dear mom. When I came to this family in 1982, I came to a family that uh, I, lo I actually I loved so much because the way they presented themselves, and especially to me as a son-in-law, they embraced me and took me as a, the firstborn son. And my dad used to tell me, my little dad used to tell me that any time I'm here, whenever he has an issue in the family, he would even call me. And uh, I remember my brother-in-law when he was away in India, I frequently uh, came to the my father-in-law and my mother-in-law and we would have a discussion and they would actually uh, there are people who were actually uh, out, outgoing they gave out advices and especially in the actually in marriages, in where to live in business so I've, uh, I've lost a dear mom and I feel that uh, uh, now been left with uh, as the firstborn in that family, I believe and trust that uh, we shall be joined hand together and do exactly what mom used to, uh, to teach us. I believe that uh, issues of, uh, within the family, they cannot be, can be solved by actually uh, sitting together and talking and uh, solving, solving them uh, amicably. I don't have much to say, but I say that may my mom rest in peace. Thank you. Thank you. Before we hear a prayer by the name, by the name of Jesus Christ, we will all stand and sing the particular song in the program. Nibre, 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 Thank you, Mark. Yes.
Bwana Yesu asifiwe kanisa. Habari zenu? Hiyo majina mmesikia die yangu Linet Wanjiro Kariuki. Nimeokoka Yesu ni Bwana. Nimesimama kama rafiki wa Jeni Wanjiro na nyumba yake. Mimi mama huyu nilipoingia Nairobi 72 ndiye tulijuana na yeye na nyumba yake ndiye ilikuwa ya kwanza mimi kuingia na nilipoingia kwa hiyo nyumba mpaka wa leo tuko marafiki ninamwambia Mungu ametenda mema upande ile aliona ni vyema kumchukua na kumuondolea maumivu ya dunia hii lakini najua ya kwamba mama yetu ameenda mahali mzuri na Mungu wale tumebaki atakuwa pamoja nasi saidi watoto wale wamebaki na kile najua cha mama huyu wakati yule alikuwa hai ungeingia kwa nyumba yake ungesema yeye ndiye mgojwa kwa sababu mambo yake yote yale ilikuwa inatedwa kwa nyumba yake ni ile ya kutoka mwanzo mpaka mahali alifika kuti kwa watoto kuliendelea mpaka dakika ya mwisho na ninaomba ya kwamba watoto wetu katika jina la Bwana tuige hiyo mfano tukae kama mama tukae kama shushu vile alikuwa amekaa na Mungu ataendelea akitubariki na nyumba yetu haitafungukiwa kamwe kwa sababu Mungu ni mwema na ni mwaminifu mbalikiwe sana ni wini Esther Wajiko wa Joseph Kimani nampenda Yesu aliniokoa 1963 nikiwa msichana wakati alipata msichana mwenye dhabi nikijidai na usichana nikijidai na kanisa nikiona kwamba nimebatizwa nimewekwa mkono na kula mesa ya Bwana nikaona nitaenda biguni lakini neno la Bwana likasomwa katika ufunuo na moja na mstari wa nane likisema bali waoga wauaji waserati waongo wanaoba sanamu watatiwa katika moto wa jahanamu na pale neno hilo liliposomwa hivyo nilihurumia moyo wangu na mpenzi wangu Yesu akaufungua 
akanionyesha yaliyokuwa ndani ikiwa ni dhabi za kudaganya dhabi za kuibaiba kwa mama usherati kila dhambi ikaonekana ndani ya moyo wangu na mpenzi wangu Yesu akaniosha akanitakasa akanifanya kuwa mwanawe tangu wakati huo wa usichana mpaka wakati huu wa uzee na mshukuru Yesu kwa sababu amenishika mkono na anajua kuokoa na kudumisha hata uzima wa milele bwana asifiwe huyu dada jean ni dada ambaye tulimpenda alitembea pamoja na wadugu na wadada wa East Africa kwa ushujaa kuingia ushirika hata wakati mwingine anatembea na ile bokora yake kwa sababu anakuja kumusivu abaye aliyemuokoa basi dada yetu tukija hapa bere kushukuru bwana hatuna hofu ati amepotea ya dada yetu ameenda kwa mpendwa wake Yesu Kristu abaye uokoa na kudumisha hata uzima wa milele Bwana asifiwe tunampenda dada yetu na ninashukuru tena neno moja ameambiwa alizaliwa 19 eh, 39 na mimi ndio nilizaliwa Bwana asifiwe kwa hivyo tunaelekea wapi biguni wapendwa tuokoke twende biguni tukute tendeleza yeso yeso mare mana bendiga yeso basi tutaiba wimbo namba 37 kitabu hii kisha East Africa Revival Bwana Yesu aliudhika kwa Lazaro kaburini machozi ya kamtoka wache ule my 
Good afternoon. Our name is uh, Samuel Kimani Maina and Peter Masharia Maina. I'm going to we are going to read uh, the eulogy for late mom Jane Onjiro Maina. Or oh, tribute, sorry. Tribute. So, mom, you believed in tough love. As a teacher, you are a disciplinarian. You didn't miss a chance to discipline us. Your eyes were always on us. You were ever smart, neat. Even when we were children, you used to make us very beautiful clothing, making us stand out. And that's how the people came to know you are a dressmaker. You, are children, you made children clothing for order to be sold in Huru Market and Kekomba. We never saw our mom idle. She was always busy till late at night and the first to wake up. You were very caring and loving. You never wanted to see any of us suffering. You'd go out of your way to see we, that we are okay. You instilled in us fear of God and the importance of having a personal relationship with Jesus from a young age. And one would never miss going to Sunday school. You had a strong relationship with Jesus, even in sickness. You always asked us, and the ones who came to see you, see you to pray for you. Even in old age, her memory was very sharp. She could remember things quite clearly as if it was yesterday. You were a pillar in our family. You touched each one of us in different ways. You taught us to pray for one another and others like the Bible teaches us. You prayed for us each by, by name. Your wish for us was to be united in every way. We remember your joy every time 
you saw your children, grandchildren, and great grandchildren. You are blessed to see your third generation. Your memories will always be with us. You are always smiling and rested with a smile on your face. Not a day goes without us missing you. We wish you are still with us. You will always have a special place in our hearts, and your memories will remain alive with us. We are utterly heartbroken, but believe you are in a better place where there is no death, pain, mourning. May you rest with, with the angels. My mom taught us many things. I remember that wherever there is a, a sad occasion, and maybe it will require the child's blessing, she used to tell us we come here for Thanksgiving. And that was like a tradition. We were coming here in this church, and we were all lining up here. And we are giving our thanksgiving, we are having our thanksgiving here. That is one thing that she taught us that each of us, of us remember that we are going to, to do the same thing wherever we are with such a thing happening. So that our, us as children can also learn how to appreciate other people and also the church. And I cannot forget that because I know that is what brings even the children together. The other thing I remember very well, my mom, is that uh, how she, she made us be people who is, who is loving. Because this is something that we learned from our parents, my mom and my dad, that they were one thing. No other time had we ever seen them having a difference before us. There could be some differences of which I think we learned that even if you have differences as a spouse, that we should always try to sort out the things within themselves, within ourselves, rather than uh, doing it in front of the children. That is something that we learned because we cannot say at any given time that we saw them having any quarreling in front of us. And that's thing that we saw that actually something that can be, we can all try to, to follow as a children. So those are the qualities that actually which we found that uh, she was a bit different from, from other families of which we know of how they used to express the love and also, and even when I go up country where maybe they were not staying here but we could see that when they go up country, the things that the people used to say there is that they were not leaving each other. And like where you find that uh, a, pass, a man and a woman going separate ways. Whenever she goes up country, she usually did not leave mom behind. They were always together. And people used to say these two people, that they are one, which is rarely seen up country. So these are the qualities that actually we learned from her and which we also would like to follow up as children of this family. I've got much to say but I don't want to keep on saying because I know there's other because of the time which is there. May my mom rest in peace. Good afternoon. Praise God. My name is Jane Wanjiro Jovi, and I call our dearly departed Shushu. And so I stand here before you on behalf of all the grandchildren to bid farewell to our Shushu with this tribute. Memories grow old and fade away, but the memories of our Shushu will live in our hearts and minds forever. Shushu, although your golden heart stopped beating, in our hearts we will always remember you for your good deeds, your loving spirit, your warm hugs, your prayers, 
and your faith in God and your faith in us. We will cherish the lessons that we have learned from your strength as a loving matriarch in which you have demonstrated to our parents and which you promise to pass on to your great-grandchildren. Shosho, we are so grateful and honored to be called your grandchildren. And as you settle into your new heavenly home, we pray that you may rest with the angels and we pray that the Lord's perpetual light may shine, may shine upon you. We will celebrate your memory every day. And it is our prayer as grandchildren that we may all who are here carry our Shosho's memory in our hearts so that her spirit may live on through us forever. Um, I have also been, though I'm not a great grandchild, I've been requested to read the tribute on behalf of the great grandchildren. It is a blessing and an honor to be the fourth generation of such a remarkable woman. We have seen the love that you have for us and we are grateful to have known you, even if it is for a short period of time. God gave us you for a short time so that we are always reminded of the beauty of your heart. We will miss your warm hugs and company. Rest in peace, my toe. We will miss you dearly and keep you forever in our hearts. Thank you. Thank you so much for doing the two tributes for the great grandchildren and for the grandchildren. To Tarisha to Sia Asomo, to Taiba Chapu to my Sina, my son, and Koras Kaka Hill to Tarisha to Sia Asomo lecture to Simane. Chapu to my Sina, Ela Dakuya. Mwambane salama, ndiye mwambane salama, ndiye mwambane salama. Our reading is from Psalm 11. Psalm 11. In the Lord I put my trust. How can you say to my soul, flee as a bird to your mountain? For look, the wicked bend their bow. They make red their arrow on the string, that they may shoot secretly at the upright in heart. If the foundations are destroyed, what can the righteous do? The Lord is in his holy temple, the Lord's throne is in heaven. His eyes behold, his eyelids test the sons of men. The Lord tests the righteous, but the wicked, and the one who loves violence, he so hates. Upon the wicked he will rain coals, fire and brimstone, and abiding wheat shall be the portion of their cup. For the Lord is righteous, he loves righteousness, his countenance beholds the upright. And this is the word of the Lord.
tuweze kukaa chini karibisha mwenzako mwambie karibu njio ni njema bwana asifiwe bwana asifiwe tunashukuru Mungu sababu ya njio ni njema ambaye yeye mwenyewe ndio ameipanga akaweza kutukusanyisha mahala pale pengine last week but one tungeambiwa tutakuwa wakati kama huu mahala hapa pengine tunge atungeweza kusema ni kweli but in the plan and the ways of god he decided to bring us together this evening as we comfort as we speak the words of encouragement as we pray together with his family and remind them that god is still on the throne praise the lord my name is uh, reverend susan and i'm born again this afternoon and like i said on behalf of canon na wale wengine wote tunataka kuwakaribisha wale ni wageni katika kanisa hili la St James Mungu arema aweze kuwabariki na kuwatendea mema pamoja na familia ya mama yetu we are happy to see you this evening or this afternoon and we continue asking God to strengthen you as you press on in this life praise the lord wapendwa tukutendeza asanteni sana like my brother has said Vita vya ukombozi has been a song and we were really expecting you to sing that but me I was expecting you to sing Nina imani nitafika mbinguni kwa baba yangu na macha lakini ngufu zetu zaongezeka Tukimuona Yesu msalaba nitakaza mweno handi mwisho nitakaza mweno handi mwi kaza kaza mwendo kaza mwendo ufumilie handi mwisho Yesu yuanja we thank God for the met we to hang together with that wonderful team they have beautiful songs na unatumuri mkumbusha mambo ya msalaba na kukaza mwendo na vita zile tunapopita na nazo kila siku kwa hivyo tujitie nguvu tunapomtazama Yesu msalabani praise the lord I even before I speak the word of going to welcome my brother bishop we met uh, I think last week and we were looking forward to see you earlier but somehow somehow nilipo kukosa nikajua pengine tutaonana but we want to thank God so we just allow him to say hi and any other pastor it's going to recognize us pastors any other pastor then we just give him a moment to just to say hi then tutaweza kusikia neno la Mungu. Karibu sana baba yangu. Asante. Asante sana mchungaji wetu na pia mwenzako, Creators, familia na pia wale ambao wamekuja katika uh, memory ya huyu mama yetu. Mimi naitwa Bishop John Kirago Mwangi 
I hail, I come from Moranga. Uh, Mwangi was a brother to Maina, the husband of our dear mom. And it wasn't my intent to come as I am late. But uh, somewhere on the way, we got a mechanical breakdown. But I thank God I have made it into this service. Thank you for sparing me. Just uh, uh, I have to say a word concerning our mom. I don't feel like uh, calling her Rit. I'll continue calling her my mom with or without her because of the way she lived with us. I have known mom since I was a young boy. And when she came home together with her husband, it was a great joy for us because we knew for sure there was that piece of bread which we usually called Iliet. Ili ambaye ilikuwa imepikwa na maziwa. Hiyo akija jumani alikuwa anakuja na hiyo. Akikuja kutembelea mama ya, ya mume wake. So every time she came, she had that for us. So when she is gone, we have really missed uh, somebody who is so much valued unto us. I remember so well that together with her husband, uh, she bought me the first Bible back in 1972. I had an occasion. And uh, when she sat around with her husband, they thought of bringing me a good news Bible. And I believe my ministry today, which has impacted so many people, it came from our sister. I wonder in our midst how many of us have bought their friends' kids' Bibles Try and buy one, and you prophesy upon it. And I know with the desire of your hearts and dreams, they will come to be realized. I also noted that uh, our, our mom, just as our brother has just said, whispers were going around that whenever you could see one of them, just fetch for the, for, for the next. Hapo tu, alikuwa tu hapo. Mimi sijasikia wakati moja akirudi kwao ama tukienda huko kama wazee ndio tuende tukazungumze juu ya huyu mama. Na kwa hivyo huyu mama na wa mama ambao wanatusikia siku ya leo. Let us eh, eh, have a, a copy from her and God will bless us. And not only that. Eh I greet her for the family members. I can remember so well when my mother rested in 2023 January vile mmesikia alikuwa hata hawezi kutembea mimi wakati nilimona kwetu hata nilishangaa vile alikuja huyu mama huyu huyu alikuwa mama wa wa wa, wa goro huyu hakiweza kusema ataenda kwa sababu anaumia with all those challenges we saw them and she came and she encouraged us together with with her family we value them so much that is why even if tutamkujia kesho KU nimesema nitakuja hapa ndio niyakilishe eh, uko wetu unaitwa Aiderando wa mbali ya Kemani including Gachaja our brother Gachaja there and the last uh, thing i noted concerning our mom i would like to ask the family that has been left behind nyinyi hamko peke yenu we shall start with you we shall be praying for you any time you need us, call us. During the day, during the night, we shall come. Na huyu mungu ambaye amekuwa na mama kwa miaka kumi. Wache nimi muwabie, hata wakati nisikia baba ameeda. Mimi yule ambaye nilikuwa, eh, niki, ni, ni, nikikuwa, nikiriria sana, ni, ni huyu, huyu, huyu mama yetu. Nikuwa nikishaga, hata kuwa anakaaji. Lakini huyu Mungu ambaye alikuwa akimkarisha hata na nyinyi atamweka nguvu na atakuwa akimtembelea. And so I can remember one day because of the brotherly love that uh, the Morengo's family had they were the view of them. Mwagi was the eldest, next was Maina, the last one was Irogo. I remember when our 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 cow uh, it was during a rainy season and the pen was already destroyed even if they were going back to Nairobi they came to our place 
And because there was no nails ile mishumari ya kupigia walikata ile miti inaitwa midhaduko na wakatengeneza ile boma na wakaunganisha na digi ile ya ya midhaduko na wakarudi Nairobi this family we shall never forget them we love them may god keep you may god bless you and always guide you in everything god bless you so much thank you Amen. Amen. Thank you so much. Thank you, Chair Lidi. Is another? Oh, Mr. Reverend Kanyenje. Oh, there's another pastor. Kindry, briefly, just come say hi, briefly. Kindry. It's going to allow him just to briefly say hi and bring the message. Karibu sana. Thank you very much reverend. Praise the Lord. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Na wasalimu katika jina la Yesu. Kwa majina ni Reverend Dr. Peter Kapeberi. Ambaye nimeokolewa na Yesu. Bwana asifiwe sana. Ah uh, I'm here uh, to utilize our mom ambaye nimemjua kwa miaka tangu nikiwa mtoto mdogo wa miaka kumi na kitu hapo and uh, we have grown together with this family in Boroboro na katika mambo yote ya jamii tangu tulipojiwana ki family we have been together praise the lord i i minister with chris cop and that's why i fellowship god bless you very much tutaona na kesho Mungu awabariki Amen Thank you so much Thank you so much Pastor may the Lord bless you also <laughs> To the ladies thank you so much for also finding time to come in the uniform it gives us confidence of the person that we are going to lay to rest praise the Lord Kuonaanyesha huyo mama alipigana vita vyema na akashinda na akapepa msalaba wake mpaka dakika ya mwisho praise the lord and so it's something to thank god for it's something to glorify god for walking with our sister and our friend and our mom for those years and of course carrying our cross to the end praise the lord and i want to briefly just share the word of god so that we can come to the end of the service and allow also the family to sit down and finalize with other things i want us to look at some chapter 11 verse 1 and 3 the psalm of david chapter 11 verse 1 then verse 3 heaven of father we ask that you may speak to each one of us and especially to this family now that it is pleased you to take their mother to be with you we ask that god may comfort them and may you surround them with thy presence in jesus mighty name amen amen When we look at the Psalm chapter 11 and when David starts by speaking about God being a refuge in other versions you see the Bible speaking of God being a stronghold or a wall I saw one that was speaking at God being a wall and a firm foundation I realized that David knew is going very well David knew what God would do David knew that this God that even those times and those moments of calamities and storms and disasters God will shield me God will protect me God will hold me praise the Lord even those times and moments when he's feeling devastated he realizes that he has a pillar he has God who would hold him and help him in to stand to the next day and to the years to come in the mighty name of Jesus Christ and he's saying then why would you ask me to flee to the mountain in case of trouble why would you want me to run away when i know i have god who is my refuge i have god who is my shield i have god who will protect me why would you want me to run away i will firmly and i will comfortably stand and wait for him to come and rescue me praise the lord this is such a time 
friends, Kimani and your family, that you need to realize that when this death has come, you are not going to run away. God will remain a helper. God will remain a shield to you. God will take care of you. God will remain with you until the end of ages. Praise the Lord. And it comes in verse 3 when he when talks about when the foundations are destroyed, then what are the righteous going to do? And I want to speak about foundation this evening. That this building where we are, there is a foundation. In our houses, wherever, wherever we are, there are foundations. Those buildings that you see in Nairobi, them that have stood for many years, that tells you the foundation is strong. The foundation is sure. And that's why even stones, when they come, those houses remain firm. And so they will not fear when storms and, and even fire, at times they will come, they will burn maybe the, 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 um, the walls. But the foundation of that whole, whole uh, house, of that foundation of building, will remain firm. Because it is well built. It is firmly built. And those people who decided to build that from, uh, house or that building, they had sat and they had thought about it because they knew that this house needed to be there and to remain for years. Praise the Lord. And in the Gospel of Matthew, the Bible speaks about two people, the wise and the foolish, who decided to build the house. And the foundation, when the waters came, when the wood came and the plants came, there is this building that was swept away because the foundation was shaky. The foundation was not firm. But with the wise, they were able to build, they were able to sit and think through what they were about to do. And when storms came, when storms of life came, when rains came, that house was left standing. When the foundation is faulty, it affects the whole building. And I want to encourage this family. I may not have been able to meet mom, neither your dad, but one thing I know for sure, your parents were a true pillar in your family. There was a true, there was a mom, let me talk of mom, who he was, uh, now who is, uh, we, now, now we are talking about now. That mom, we can confidently say she was a strong pillar in that home. Even to the end, is one sister who talked about, even when she was not feeling well, she still wanted to attend that wedding. Because she felt that her presence meant so much to the other family, praise the Lord. And so she was a pillar and a strong pillar to that family. And to your family, mom has remained a firm and a strong foundation. But David says, when the foundations are destroyed, then what are we going to do? Now mom has been taken away. Does it mean that the foundation or the our family is going to scatter? Does it mean that what mom used to say is not to be done, is going to be done? I would say no. Because mom has already built a foundation. Children and the grandchildren and great-grandchildren, now you are building on the foundations that has already been built. And so mom has set forth a very strong foundation in your family. And so we need to build upon that foundation to the end in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Mom came to church even last month. Last month but one. That was February or March? Early March. I think when we had a fundraiser. Yes, she came. That means even when she was feeling very weak, she had a strong desire to come in the house of the Lord. I will pray with you. If there is any one of us in that family who comes to church, Leo, Kumenyesha, Anashindwa Kama, Ende, Awasiende, it is time to come back and ask ourselves if mom would train and rise up and prepare even when she's healing and come to church then I would still want to go and seek this God of my mom in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Those things mom says no to, let us not allow them to be done now because she built a foundation and the right foundation of godliness in that home. She was the righteous of God. And all you people who are the righteous of God, may you rise up and build on that foundation that has already been built 
by our parents in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Death has shaken that foundation. Death has shaken the building. But the foundation remains sure. And when all that is done, then we remain in the one God who will help us to build our lives in him in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. He is our faithful God. God, my parents, our parents have shown us the ways of God. They have worked with God. And the times I tell people, and I would know Chele they would bear me witness, and those of us who are here. Ikiwa hakuwa mshiriki wa kufuatilia na mwelekeo na mambo ya Mungu na ya wamama. Ingekuwa tunauliza na nani atavaa nguo kila mtu alikuwa na shughuli zake. And I imagine because it's a weekday we've just come back from holiday. If it was a Friday I can imagine the bigger group that would have been here this morning this evening because they knew the ways of God. The same way we took tender, they will not come and stand here and sing of a person who has not fought a good battle and who has won the race, praise the Lord. And so God, mom laid a foundation of godliness in her life and she has built the same foundation to you, her children and her grandchildren. May you be able to build on that foundation in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. She has built a foundation of going to church every other Sunday when she is strong and when at times she is weak, we will be able to build on that foundation of seeking God and going to church in the name of Jesus Christ. We need to realize that we need to be strong. I know we are going through a moment of pain, a moment of unanswered questions, and we even as pastors, we may not be able to give you an answer, answers of why God decided to take mama this time. Yesterday, a friend of mine called me around seven and told me, please, Reverend, just come. And I want you to come urgently. And I asked him, why? And he said, Reverend, you come. And I said, Rafiki Akikuita, where end of Kanjuli and Bali. So when I got there, I found this man crying. And I asked him, what is happening? He told me, why I've called you? Because God had decided to rest our mom this morning. It is painful and it was painful. And so we may not be able to give you answers. And he told me if there is any Easter he has ever celebrated, a worst Easter, this is the Easter. Even as we talk of Jesus dying and rising, he has no reason to celebrate that. At the time I looked at him and I said, well, to him, he has no reason because the person they loved so much. They have known for 60 years she has gone. Friends, I know you may be going through that pain. You have questions that we may not be able to answer. But we can encourage you. We have seen God comforting people in the past. We have seen God holding people in their voice and they have risen up with strength and power. The same God who has comforted people in the past, the same God is going to comfort you and do you more and do great things with you in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. The legacy and the memories of man may never fade. Even for Dan, I know it's still very fresh in your mind. But I want to encourage you, rise up. Don't allow the pain of death to just crush you down. But rise up. Job said, one thing I know, even when I'm going through this pain, my Redeemer lives. And one day, I, my body and myself, I'll be able to behold and see him. Praise the Lord. I want to encourage you this evening that you can rise up in as you go through morning and tell God, even when this foundation is destroyed in our family, we know we have a sure hope in you because Jesus died and rose again. And so our tomorrow is better in the name of Jesus Christ. Praise the Lord. And to all of us who have come this afternoon and this evening, you couldn't be going through a moment of shake up in your family, with your children, with your business, with your health. I want to encourage you, hold on unto Christ. Praise the Lord. When these all these foundations are shaken, we have a sure hope. We have, we can anchor on this Christ Jesus who remains our refuge, who remains our stronghold, and who remains forever with us in 
in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. As we go through those moments of pain and of shake-up, he has promised never to leave us, nor to forsake us. Praise the Lord. Morning may come just for a very short time. But with the joy that God gives to his people, to his beloved, may we hold unto this Christ. May you trust him even when at times you feel like you don't feel like you want to trust him. I don't know whether you have ever reached to a point where you wonder whether you still want to trust this God. And I've always said, if there's any time that we have ever felt like that, it is the time of death. Because we are not sure how tomorrow we will be. Because we have known our parents, we have known our husbands, we have known our children, and they have been a strength in our lives. But when they are taken away, and forever taken away, then we are left now wondering, where is our help coming from? Where, who is going to show us even better times? But David said, when I was overwhelmed, when I was overtaken, God came through for me. Praise the Lord. It is our prayer this evening that God will come through for you. And help you to walk this time of pain. And help you to walk through this time of mourning. And help you to walk through this time of tears and cries. And because he's a faithful God, he will take care of you. He will shield you. The whole of last week and the whole of part of this week, you've seen people coming in your compound. They have given you stories and at times to nacheka, baka to nasao, to rikuwa kwa nini? I think seeing those friends we have not seen for so, quite some time when they come, at times we forget that they have come to condone with us. But tomorrow, all these friends will go back to their homes. And that's when death strikes more. But we want to pray that even after tomorrow, you will experience the power of God. You experience the presence of the Lord. You experience that peace of God in your life and in your family. That surpasses all human understanding. And you will be able to see the future brighter because he says, I have good plans for you for today and for tomorrow. Man, misiku yake imefika, safari yake ikafika misho, ikampendeza mungu, akaeza kumpumzisha, akaeze kukanae. So we want to encourage you and we want to ask that God will hold you together, that you remain together as you remain united as man desiring to see our family. May God bless you so much and to all of us, those who have, we have come and we may be going through death in your family. May God strengthen you. May God hold you together. May the peace of the Lord reign in your life. And if we are going to cry, may God help us that we are not going to cry that cry in a letter, maugonjwa na shinda katika maisha yetu. Praise the Lord. May God be there for us, hold our hands, and walk with us. And because he sent his son to die on the cross, and he rose again with victory, may all of us rise in victory in this season, and embrace the power of God, and the peace of the Lord remain with us now and forevermore. Amen. So when the foundations are shaken, we have an anchor. In Christ Jesus. God bless you so much. Thank you, Mother and Sister, for that inspiring work for the family and even to us who may be able to join us. Our time has come that we want to give to the Lord, giving our offering. And I would request our uh, the two friends that we still around and we thought they are living. Okay, to not go to our Sadaka, Sister Omba, to him and Nani, Nina Iman, Ile, we was Reverend Sister Name. Sema, and to give a little to Toa, come about, to give a little to Toa, but was in a Toa, to kind of learn the winter of your combos. This is Leon, to pretend that they are doing that. And the left, one of the people in Naiman to the Toa Sadat. To see Mammy Sisi Zote, not to Toa Sadat. But he would rather go Mose in Naiman, a cousin of Wendy. Kwa 
mawazo na mateso lakini nguvu zangu zaongezeka nikimuona Yesu msalabani mimi nitakaza mwendo hadi mwisho nitakaza mwendo hadi mwisho Kaza mwendo kaza mwendo ndo kaza mwendo na we ufumilie hadi mwisho o Yesu iwaja kaza mwendo kaza kaza mwendo na we ufumilie hadi mwisho o Yesu iwaja ninajua Ya kupigana na shetani ya dui yangu lakini nguvu zangu zaongezeka nami nikimuona Yesu msalabani kweli nitakaza mwendo hadi mwisho nitakaza mwendo hadi mwisho Kaza mwendo kaza mwendo mwendo kaza mwendo na we ufumilie yote hadi mwisho o Yesu iwaja kaza mwendo kaza kaza mwendo na we ufumilie sante hadi mwisho o Yesu iwaja Tunasafiri katika bari ya mishafuko Tunapitia katika mawipi ya kuogofia Lakini kweli ya tuwezi kuzama Meli yetu liye wana yesu Kwa hivyo kaza mwendo hadi mwisho kwa hivyo kaza mwendo hadi mwisho kaza mwendo kaza mwendo kaza mwendo na we ufumilie hadi mwisho o Yesu iwaja kaza kaza mwendo kaza mwendo na we ufumilie yote hadi mwisho o Yesu iwaja Nao watugozea uko minguni Taji zetu ziko tayari uko minguni Lakini ukishindwa safarini Kazi yako yote ni ya mure Kwa hivyo kaza mwendo hadi mwini kwa hivyo kaza mwendo hadi mwisho Kaza mwendo kaza mwendo kaza mwendo Na we ufumilie hadi mwisho O Yesu iwaja Kaza mwendo kaza mwendo Na we ufumilie hadi mwisho Tutasifu uko minguni Tukishinda majaribu ya ulimwengu Tusipoteze tumaini letu Yesu sasa yukaribu sana Tukaze mwendo hadi mwisho Tukase mwendo hadi mwisho Kaza mwendo Kaza mwendo Na umilie Kaza mwisho Yesu you are done Santeni sana wadada na wandugu Bwana wabariki Tukase mwendo Tuwambia sadaka
He told us, God, in no circumstances that you should give to us. Even now, we are giving you thanks because of what has happened. We pray that, Lord, as this offering goes towards the extension of your kingdom, that you may bless. This is our humble prayer in Jesus' name. Amen. Sante, tuta karibisha familia, the family of mom, kindly come forward as we pray together with you. Familia ya mom, watoto, wajuku, andugu na wadada kama wako karibu, tusonge ili tuombe pamoja. Taware manawa kwa kendo Tuamini tuombe Baba katika jina ku jina la Yesu Twaja bele zako wakati huu tukiwa tumenyenyekea miguuni pako Hasa tukikushukuru na tukikuinua na kukiri na kinywa shetu ya kwamba wewe ni baba yetu na rafiki wetu wa karibu Tuko mahali hapa Bwana tukikuja kukushukuru kwa sababu ya dada yetu Jane Maina Abao Bwana wa majeshi kutoka wakati alizaliwa umetebea pamoja na yeye na hasa ukambariki mwokozi na ukambariki pia na watoto na pia ukambariki na miaka mingi na hasa tunajua ya kwamba Bwana ukambariki akaweza kufanya kazi katika nyumba lako ni asante Mungu wa majeshi kwa sababu tunajua ya kwamba hata kufikisha miaka aba alikuwa nayo imegalimu mkono wako. Ni asante kwa sababu tulikuwa tunamjua kama mama ambaye aliyekupenda Bwana na alikuwa anakuja katika nyumba lako kila wakati kukushukuru na hasa Mungu wa majeshi kusikia neno lako. Na sasa kwa sababu Mungu umeonelea vyema wakati huu Umshukue na ili yaweze kupumzika Hatuna jabo tunaweza sema ili kusema ni ya sante Kile kina tufurahisha ni ya kwaba amepumzika akiwa dani yako buwana Na jioni ya leo tunajua ya kwaba anashagiria pamoja na malaika 
kwa sababu Bwana ametebea jia hii ya wokofu na umempatia ushidi. Tuseme nini jioni ya leo ili tuseme we wastahili na we watosha Bwana. Ni asante kwa sababu tunajua ameasha familia na tunajua hii familia Bwana inakuhitaji. Na kama vile tumesikia katika neno lako from the book of Psalm 11 Bwana ya kwamba Mungu wa majeshi when the foundations are shaken where will the righteous be? Tunajua hii familia ya Jane Maina Bwana imeashwa mikononi mwema mikononi mwako. Tuomba Bwana kuanzia siku ya leo ya kwamba Bwana utawashika na mkono wako wa kulia na utawaongoza na jia ambazo zinastahili. Mahali popote watakuwa wakihitaji mama, Mungu wa majeshi utakuwa ukisimama katika pengo katika jina la Yesu. Na kwa hivyo tuwakabili hii familia mikononi mwako. Tunaomba ya kwamba utauganisha na upendo wako katika jina la Yesu. Tunajua wakati mwingi eh, kifo ikikuja katika boma shetani hutebea na jia ya kuteganisha watoto lakini Bwana tumesimama hapa na kukiri ya kwamba no weapon fashioned against this family shall prevail in the name of Jesus ya kwamba you shall bite them together with your love in the name of Jesus Christ ya kwamba watatebea wakiwa na umoja Ya kwa ba waki, watatebea wakiwa wakishikiriana moja na mwingine Na ya kwa ba buwana watakuwa mfano mwema Ata kwa jamizi gine katika jina la Yesu Tunaomba ya kwamba hata hao Bwana utaendelea Mungu kuwapatia amani na furaha itokako kwako. Na hivyo ulibariki mama yao na miaka mingi. Hata hii jamii tuwaombea miaka mingi ya kuishi katika jina la Yesu. Magonjwa yote huletwa na shetani twaikemea katika jina la Yesu. Na tunajua hii familia itaishi. Tunakataa every premature death in this family katika jina la Yesu. Na tunajua ya kwamba wataishi kusema buwana wewe diyo mungu wao Na tunajua ya kwamba hata wakati huu even as we prepare to go to rest our mom tomorrow Ya kwamba utaendelea buwana kutebea pamoja na wao Asante kwa sababu kile kitu wabasho kilikuwa kinahitajika Wakati huu Jehovah you have provided in the name of Jesus Tunaoba hata safari ya kesho tuwa ikabiri mikononi mwako Jehovah Na tunajua ya kwamba tutasafiri viema Hivyo ulianzisha pamoja nasi na ukawa kati Hata siku ya kesho tutakuona You shall give us journey masses even as we go to play ha, it, uh, To rest in the name of Jesus Mabo yote buwana tunajua Wewe ukiwa bere mabo yote hiko sawa Na tunawaba kama vile sabuli 3280 na sema Ya kwamba hii jamii You will instruct them and teach them in the ways they should go even after now the foil that was left by the mom god may you come and feed it so that they will feel the warmth that comes from you o jehovah father and just as you say in your word that you never leave us nor forsake us oh god that is our declaration you will go with them till the end of the age and that is why jehovah father we say thank you and jehovah god almighty we want even to speak the blood of jesus over their lives so god and from today may you mark them with that mark of the blood of jesus may you seal it over their lives so god and we know when the devil see that mark he will flee away from them and that is why jehovah father we are singing a song of victory because from now jehovah father you have become their father you have become their mother oh jehovah father and they shall never lack anything good because you will always provide for them anytime they call upon your holy name you shall always hear and answer them by fire and it is the name of jesus christ we do pray and believe in one accord amen amen god bless you to talika joseph kachanya for the vote of thanks. Karibu.
Good afternoon, clergy. Good afternoon, fellow mourners. My name, is, my name is Joseph Gachanja, and um, I'm going to give a vote of thanks. Um, I'd like to thank God for giving us Jen Wanjiro War Festus for 85 years. And also for giving her eight children, many grandchildren, and a very, very disciplined family. I'd like also to, to, to thank the leadership of this church, St. James, led by Venerable Canon Chege Karyuki for the services rendered during our morning at Buruburu Phase, phase 1. You sent us um, glad you to come and give us words of consolation on daily basis. Thank you very much indeed. Bishop Kirago Asante Sana, we never thought you would make it, but I'm sure everybody appreciates that you've made it. Thank you very much indeed. May I thank very, very sincerely Buruburu One Fellowship, led by Madam Margaret Osewo, wherever you are, thank you very much. You've been doing this for very many years, and you've been very, very committed. May I thank, ladies and gentlemen, the Wandugu Society, or the Revival Fellowship, for their very, very committed fellowship. And may I say, I would have missed their, their anthem, I call it an anthem, if they didn't main, uh, sing it, I would have wondered what is happening. Thank you, Mr. Mwega, for reminding them that we needed it. I'd like to thank all mourners, especially residents of Buruburu Mothers Union, and people, neighbors like Peter Munyoro and Pastor Kim Kabeberi. I would like to thank friends of all walks of life who have popped in to, to her house and given us words of consolation and even material donations. We are ready to deliver the body of Jane Wanjiro to Moranga next to her very loving husband, Mr. Festus Minor tomorrow. I was, thank you Penina Minor for coordinating the Mother's Union even though I understand you are not in Nairobi. And finally, for making yourself available for us. I'd like to make a few announcements about what lies ahead of us tomorrow and we will be removing the body from um, Kenyatta University Mochari tomorrow very early in the morning and we shall head to Moranga 
The place of burial is called Kangomi village near Kahote in Wevaga. For those who may be driving on their own, we will be assembling that after departure from the mortuary, we shall be assembling at a place known as the water supply in Muranga so that we could have that final uh, dash to Kahote and Kangomi. May I also ask those who wish to book a space to travel to Moranga to see, I don't know whether Maila is here, are you there? Oh, oh yes, he is there. Those people who would like to travel, please see that gentleman known as Maina after this service. Um, I don't think I have anything else to add. So those are the arrangements for, for tomorrow. Thank you, my family. I know there are a, a number of you here. If you can just raise your hand. Thank you for supporting me. Well, I was mourning my friends. Asante Nisana. Thank you. Thank you so much, Mr. Chanja, for those notices. Uh, at what time are we meeting at KU? Because you said very early in the morning. Very early in the morning can be even four. Thank you very much for that clarification. Yes. We shall be removing the body as early as seven o'clock in the morning. And we will be ready to leave at eight. So only a short prayer after removing the body from uh, the morgue. So all of us who are traveling, if you would wish to go and view the body of our sister, be at KU by 7, so that we are through by 8, then we are traveling to Moranga, Kaheto. Is it Kaheto or Kahitu? Kagote. 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 Asante. Yeah. Yes, I will learn these names pole pole as time goes by. So we will all rise on behalf of Canon. We want to thank you for coming for the service. We will rise and uh, Reverend Susan will give us the benediction even as we recess. I think it's also good to confirm it's Kenyatta University, not Kenyatta Rifaro. Not the Vika. Yeah, Vika Road, not the the other sign. Let us pray. Almighty God, through the death of your son on the cross, your love overcame death for us. Through his body and resurrection from death, you have restored to us eternal life. We therefore remember those who died believing in Jesus and are buried with him in the hope of rising again. O God of the living and dead, may those who faithfully trusted in you on earth praise you forever in the joy of heaven. We ask this in the name of Jesus Christ, our Savior. God of all consolation in your leading love and mercy for us, you turn the darkness of death into dawn of new life. Show compassion to your people who are mourning the departure of their mother, their sister, their auntie, their grandmother, their great-grandmother, and their friend. Be our refuge and strength to lift us from the darkness to the this grief to the peace and light of your presence. And Almighty God, we are grateful for the moment you have sat at your feet, even as we all eulogize and have time to reflect through the life of our sister. Thank you for the many years she lived with you. 85 good years, God of heaven, we are truly grateful. We commit the family and to help hands and all of us and to help hands even as we part ways. Even as we ask of your blessings through the evening and for tomorrow's Jehovah God, we have a program as we raise the body of our sister to the ground. We commit the journey from morning unto your April hands all through to the service and to the end of the service. 
And when we come to the end of our hearts, honor and grace shall come unto you. We pray for protection by the precious brand of your son, Jesus Christ. We refuse any careless driving on our own in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. May you protect and watch of over those who will be traveling to the barriers, to those who will be traveling to other areas. As we travel on those paths, O oh God, may you protect and watch over us. And may the blessing of God Almighty the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit be with us now and forevermore. Amen. Amen. The Lord bless you. You are going to be given a decision or aim. Nimesikia chia lidi kama meuliza wa mama waweze kukutana pale inje di tukaweze kupanga mambo ya kesho. Asante ni sana. Cha kutuma ini sina ila damu ya kesu sina wema wa kutosha
cry for me I'm well within my soul I saw the light I took his hand We flew on high To the promised land My soul lives on In a better place With all his glory With all his grace Don't cry for me My pain is gone forever Don't cry